Amen. Come, let us worship and bow down before God our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ God our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Him, Christ our King and God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, Lord my God, you are magnified exceedingly. You clothe yourself with thanksgiving and majesty, who cover yourself with light as with a garment, who stretch out the heavens like a curtain. You are he who covers his upper chambers with waters, who makes the clouds his means of approach, who walks on the wings of the winds, who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. He established the earth on its stable foundation. It shall not be moved unto ages of ages. The deep like a garment is his covering. The waters shall stand upon the mountains at your rebuke they shall flee at the sound of your thunder they shall be afraid the mountains rise up and the plains sink down to the place you founded for them <clears throat> you set a boundary they shall not pass over neither shall they return to cover the earth you are he who sends springs into the valley the waters shall pass between the mountains they shall give drink to all the wild animals of the field the wild asses shall quench their thirst the birds of heaven shall dwell beside them they shall sing from the midst of the rocks you are he who waters the mountains from his higher places. The earth shall be satisfied with the fruits, with the fruit of your works. You are he who causes grass to grow for the cattle and the green plant for the service of man. To bring forth bread from the earth and wine gladdens the heart of man. To brighten his face with oil and bread strengthens man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be full of fruit, the cedars of Lebanon which you planted. There the sparrows shall make their nests and the house of the heron takes the lead among them. The high mountains are for the deer. The cliff is a refuge for the rabbits. He made the moon for seasons. The sun knows its setting. You established, you established darkness and it was night, whereon all the wild animals of the forest will prowl about. The young lions roar and snatch their prey and seek their food from God. The sun arises and they are gathered together and they shall be put to bed in their dens. Man shall go out to his work and to his labor until evening. O Lord, your works shall be magnified greatly. You made all things in wisdom. The earth was filled with your creation. There is this great and spacious sea. The creeping things are there without number. The living things are there, both small and great. There the ships pass through. There is this dragon you formed to play therein. All things wait upon you that you might give them food in due season. When you give it to them, they shall gather it. When you open your hand, all things shall be filled with your goodness. But when you turn your face away, they shall be troubled. When you take away their breath, they shall die and return again to their dust. You shall send forth your spirit and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be forever. The Lord shall be glad in his works. He looks upon the earth and makes it tremble. He touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing to my God as long as I exist. May my words be pleasing to him and I shall be glad in the Lord. May sinners cease from the earth and the lawless so as to be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knows its setting, you established darkness, and it was night. O Lord, your works shall be magnified greatly, you made all things in wisdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God, our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> for the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> for this holy house and for those who enter it, with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop Alexios, for the Honorable Presbyterate, for the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, the president, and for all in public service, and for our armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. For the holy and great Church of Christ, for this holy metropolis, this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. 
for favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, most blessed, holy and glorious Lady, the Fed, Ocos, and Ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages. Crucifixion that bestowed life, O Christ our God, and glorify your resurrection on the third day. Thereby you refashion human nature that was damaged. You also revealed to us the ascent into the heavens, O Almighty Lord, who singularly good and benevolent. The righteous shall wait for me until you reward me. You rescinded the penalty. God, you broke the bonds of death when you descended to the netherworld, Almighty One. And now we are, and now we honor your resurrection from the dead, and we sing in exaltation, glory to you, O Almighty Lord. Depths I cry to O Lord. O oh Lord, hear my voice. You blasted the gates of Hades, and you toppled the regime of death by your death, O oh Master. You freed the human race from disintegration, for to the world you granted life 
freedom from decay and the great mercy. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. Everybody come, let us extol the Savior's resurrection on the third day, through which we were released from inescapable imprisonment in the netherworld. And we all have received life and freedom from decay. And let us sing to him, O uniquely benevolent Lord. You were crucified and buried and you rose. We pray you save us by your resurrection. If you, O Lord, should mark transgressions, O Lord, who would stand? For there is forgiveness with you. Angels and humanity, extol your resurrection on the third day. O Savior, through which the entire earth has been illumined, and we all have been released from enslavement to the foe. So let us sing to him, O uniquely benevolent Lord, Almighty Savior, the giver of life. We pray to you to save us by your resurrection. Because of your law, Lord, I waited for you. My soul waited for your word. My soul hopes in the Lord. You crushed the gates of bronze. <coughs> And you shattered the bars, and then you raised the human race, which had fallen, O oh Christ God. And so we join our bird voices and sing to you. Glory to you, O oh Lord, who arose from the dead. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch until night, let Israel hope in the Lord. <coughs> Holy Father John, as one devout, the exaltations of God were at all times the property of your throat in very truth, as you studied and practiced well. The God-inspired sayings as one all-wise, you are enriched in your soul by the divine grace while well, being up from them and being calm and becoming blessed you fully destroyed the malicious purposes of all impious men for with the lord there is mercy and with him is abundant redemption and he shall redeem israel from all his transgressions Holy Father John, as one devout, the exaltations of God were at all times the property of your throat in very truth. As you studied and practiced well, the God-inspired says, sayings as one all-wise, you were enriched in your soul by the divine grace swelling up from them and becoming blessed you fully destroyed the malicious purposes of all impious men praise the praise the lord all you gentiles praise him all you peoples Holy Father John, most glorious, you shed a wellspring of tears, and your soul thus was purified. You propitiated God by your standing in prayer all night. Thus given wings, you ascended to his love, and to his beauty, all blessed, yes, you are, which now you worthily are enjoying endlessly as you rejoice with your fellow athlete monks, O godly-minded saints. 
for his mercy rules over us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Holy Father John, as one devout, when you had lifted your mind unto God on the wings of faith, you despised the turbulence of the world and its transience. And on your shoulders you took up your own cross and followed after the Lord who sees all things. Then the, uh, then the unruly flesh you subordinated to your pious thought through ascetic exercise by the divine spirit's might. No glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. O devout Father, when you the message of the gospel of the Lord. You left the world behind, reasoning that wealth and glory are began saying to every one, love God, and you will find eternal grace. Do not prefer anything to his love so that when he comes in his glory you may find rest with all the saints at their entry tis Christ, guard us and save our souls, <clears throat> both now and ever, and to the ages of is Amen by you, O Lady. The prophet David became an ancestor of God. Long ago he sang a song to him who would do great things for you. The queen stood at your right hand. God chose you to be the mother who would end his good pleasure to become human from you without our father so that he could refashion his image which had 
become destroyed dead by the passions and so that he could find the lost sheep that had gone astray on the mountain and carry it on his shoulders and bring it to his father and reunite it with the heavenly host as he willed and so that he could save the world O Theotokos since he is Christ and he has the great and rich mercy Of with majesty. The Lord, <clears throat> the Lord clothed and girded himself with power. The Lord reigns, he clothed himself with majesty. And he established the world which shall not be moved. The Lord reigns, he clothed himself with majesty. Let us all say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say, Lord Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Again we pray for pious and orthodox Christians. Again we pray for our Archbishop Alexios. Again we pray for our brethren, the priests, the higher monks, the higher deacons, the monastics, and all our brotherhood in Christ. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, protection, forgiveness, and remission of the sins of the servants of God, all pious Orthodox Christians residing and visiting in this city, the parishioners, the members of the parish council, 
the stewards and benefactors of this holy church. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy church and for all of our fathers and brethren who have fallen asleep before us, who here have been piously laid to their rest, as well as the Orthodox everywhere. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works in this holy and all venerable church, for those who labor and those who sing, and for the people here present who await your great and rich mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we offer up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, keep us this evening without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name unto the ages. Amen. O Lord, let your mercy be upon us, for we have set our hope in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, Master, grant me understanding of your commandments. Blessed are you, Holy One, enlighten me with your commandments. Lord, your mercy is forever. Do not despise the works of your hands. To you is due praise, to you is due song, to you is due glory. To the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls, and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. And let us ask for a Christian end to our life, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. This, o Lord. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, that they at all close and ever virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To you, O Lord. Lord our God, you inclined the heavens and came down from the salvation for the salvation of humankind. Look upon your servants and on your inheritance, for they have bowed their heads and bent their necks to you, the fearsome yet compassionate judge, not expecting human help, but awaiting your mercy and anticipating your salvation. Guard them at all times, this evening and the coming night, from every enemy, from all demonic activity against them, from unprofitable reflections and from wicked thoughts. Blessed and glorified be the majesty of your kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord our God, you were lifted on the cross, thereby you canceled the curse incurred by our ancestors. And then you went down to Hades and freed the prisoners held there from eternity. And you gave immortality to mankind, O oh, our Savior. Now we gratefully praise you and glorify your life-giving resurrection by which you saved us all. The Lord reigns, he clothed himself with majesty. The Lord clothed and girded himself with power. Only my 
mighty Lord, you were hung upon the cross, and you caused all creation to quake when you were laid in the tomb, and you raised those who were dwelling in the tombs. Now we gratefully praise you and glorify your resurrection on the third day. And he established the world which shall not be moved. Lawless people delivered you to Pilate, O Christ, and they condemned you to be crucified, showing their ingratitude toward the benefactor. But you voluntarily submitted to burial, and by your authority as God you rose on the third day, granting us everlasting life and the great mercy. Holiness is proper to your house, O Lord, unto length of days. The women arrived at the tomb, and tearfully they looked for you, but they did not find you. Lamenting and crying, they said, Our Savior and King of all us, have you indeed been stolen away? Where is your life-bearing corpse being held now? Then the angel answered them and said, Do not weep. Go and proclaim that the Lord has risen, granting us exultant joy, as he is exceedingly compassionate. No glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us sing in honor of John, that angel when on earth, and man of God now in heaven, the world's teacher of orderly behavior and the delight of goodness and virtue and the pride and joy of ascetics. He was planted in the house of God and as one righteous he flourished in the desert like a cedar he multiplied Christ's flock of Russian oh, a sheep in holiness and righteousness. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. O miracle of all miracles, which was unheard of, which was unheard of before. No one else has had a mother who conceived without a man and embraced him who surrounds all creation. Only he, the counsel of God, who was born of you, O all pure virgin, and whom you held in your lap, as you thus have maternal access to him, we pray you never cease imploring him for us who honor you, to be merciful to us and to save our souls. Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, that you have prepared before the face of all people a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people, Israel. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. 
Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With the rivers of your tears, you made the barren desert bloom. And with your sighs from deep within, you made your labors bear their fruits a hundredfold. And you became a star, illuminating the world by your miracles. O John, our devout Father, intercede with Christ our God for the salvation of our souls. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. You were born of a virgin and you endured crucifixion for us. So good Lord, by your death you divested death of spoils, and you displayed resurrection as God. Please do not despise us the works of your hands. Demonstrate your loving kindness, O merciful. your people in despair. Wisdom, Father bless. Blessed is Christ our God, the one who is always, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The Lord my God make firm the holy and pure faith of the pious Orthodox Christians, together with the holy and great Church of Christ, this holy metropolis, and this city to the ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Theotokos, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, you without corruption give us birth to God the Word, and our truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. Glory to you, O Christ our God, and our whole glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Father, bless. May he who rose from the dead, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all-pure and all-immaculate Holy Mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, of the holy glorious and praise with the apostles, of the holy glorious and triumphant martyrs, of our righteous and God-bearing fathers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God Joachim and Anna, of our devout father John Climacus, the author of the latter, whose memory we celebrate, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us as a good and benevolent and merciful God. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Please be seated.
as the church begins its commemoration of this Sunday of Great Lent to commemorate St. John Climacus. Here's a, an excerpt from a sermon by George Capsenis, former abbot of Greco Griu Monastery on Mount Athos. St. John Climacus, whom our church especially honors today, is a precious gift of God to our church because he left us with a valuable legacy, the latter, which he teaches us two great things. First, progress in the spiritual life must be made like a science, not without a plan, not impromptu, not without consistency, but with care and effort to strive to shake off the passions and to become acquainted with the virtues. And secondly, in this struggle, one cannot reach or per perfection from one moment to the next, but one must gradually ascend the virtues, pursue them, desire them, pray for them, and until one reaches the highest virtue, which is love. And St. John presents us 30 steps on the ladder of virtues, which strug uh, the struggling monk and Christian must climb. It is an important message, not only for monks, but also for struggling Christians in the world, that we must not forget by being carried away by the cares of life, the main purpose of our life is our perfection. It is our union with God. It is our purification from passions. It is the spiritual struggle. And it must be done, as I said, consistently with daily struggle and with a desire for true God. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ our God, and through the prayers of St. John Clonicus, whose memory we celebrate today, may the Lord God have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Have a blessed evening. Please come forward for a blessing. Our next service will be tomorrow morning, 845 Worthros, followed by Divine Liturgy at 10, 10 a.m. Join us in person if possible, online if necessary, and have a blessed evening.